I'm Mr. V and today we're talking about testing our coolant, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to test your coolant today with a multimeter. And the reason why we do that is to check for galvanization, which we actually can do with the brake fluid as well. And I have a video on testing the brake fluid. So if you're on the hood, you have your multimeter, you can test the brake fluid as well. But this is just dealing with coolant. So let's talk about how this works. The coolant that flows through the system is going through a lot of metal parts, uh, as well as plastic parts, rubber parts, so on and so forth. But for the most part, the dissimilar metals we have, the aluminum, the steel, the cast iron, and, and so, so on and so forth, of uh, all these coolant passages can cause what we call an ionization, and it knocks the electrons out of the orbit of the atoms. And long story short, it causes corrosion. So we have some things in our coolant that will stop that from happening. And over time, those chemicals in our coolant will break down and cause what we call, you know, ionization corrosion. So what we can do is when that starts happening, the electrons will bundle up in the coolant and they'll actually put off a voltage. So we can measure that voltage with our multimeter, a digital multimeter, and we can see kind of where we are and if we need to check the coolant. Now, you also need to check the coolant for the temperature effectiveness that it has through something, a process called specific gravity, or you can also check it, the pH level of the coolant by using a dip strip. And uh, I'm gonna make a video of the specific gravity and I've got some testers over here. So I'm gonna make another video on that. But this one, I just wanna focus on our multimeter testing and show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and get on the hood of our Jetta and check our voltage of our coolant. Okay, so I got the hood popped. I've got my Snap-on EDM 525F meter here. Uh, you do not need this nice of a meter. It's just really nice to use on camera because it has a really large display. So I've got it set to 0, 0.00 whatever on your direct current voltage. So I've got the range set up for 0, 0.0. So let's go ahead and take our red lead we're gonna put it on the uh, ground and then we'll take our black lead and we'll put it in the coolant. This is getting us 0.193 or so, which to me is right on the border of needing to be changed, okay? They say anything like, you know, 0.1 to 0.2 is okay. When you get above 0.2, we need to change it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and schedule this for a change of coolant and uh, flush the coolant out and get some new coolant in there. That way, this engine is very expensive. It has some very expensive parts on it. These are already prone to cooling system failures of certain types. So let's go ahead and get this coolant changed out and get the car back on the road. So do me a favor. If you learn anything from this video, give me a like and give me a subscribe. I do a lot of videos like this and my goal is to teach you guys how to work on your own vehicles. So I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, VK, Twitter, a couple other places. And also we're starting the Autocorrect with Mr. B podcast, which will be distributed through iTunes, um, all kinds of places. So <laughs> we're, we're launching it tomorrow. I'm not quite sure where it's gonna be, but it's about six or seven different places. And right now they just kind of slipped my mind. So let me know how everything's going in the comments. And 